The first thing we need is some drum sounds. I'm going to load some into the first engine. This is actually a loop which Guru is going to automatically cut up and lay out onto the pads for me. When I click on the sound, it sends a preview version to the pads which I can play live. If there was a sequence already there, it would play through the new sounds I'm browsing. When I click OK, Guru loads the sounds permanently to the pads. I need to do some editing on some of the sounds. This is really quick and easy in Guru's pad edit view. I need to get rid of a click in the kick sound by moving the end point of the sample. I need to shorten this one to make it hit a bit harder. I'll just smooth out the end with the envelope a touch to prevent any clicks. I'm going to make a one bar pattern and into record mode with a click and without any quantizing. In fact, we are not going to be using any quantizing today to make things a bit more interesting. And let's try it. Undo that and start again. Let's commit that so we don't lose it. Let's undo that last part. Okay, that's cool for now. I'm going to add some more sounds into the second engine. Yep, that sounds interesting. It seems to be some kind of texture loop which Guru has chopped up and put onto the pads. Let's record a part with these strange new sounds. Okay, this is a good point to show you that if you're using some kind of pad controller, you need to switch its bank to play the second engine instead of the first. Okay, now that part's been recorded. I'm going to edit it slightly. The shift graph in Guru shows deviations away from the step divisions. I'm going to move the first note back to where it should be as it was a bit late. I'm now going to make this sound a bit dirtier. A quick bit of bit crush and filtering in the pad edit view. I'm holding down ALT when I introduce this AUX send so that it affects all pads in the engine. And I'm going to add some delay to make it a bit more spacious. This beat needs some hi-hats. I'm going to add some in a new engine. I'm going to actually make an open and closed hi-hat out of just an open hi-hat sound. Quick and dirty.
I also need to set the open hat to choke when the closed hat plays. You can actually draw in hi-hat lines by clicking and dragging left to right and dragging up or down before releasing the mouse button to change it from sixteenths to eighths and so on. But today we're going to play the hats in live. I'm going to take the MPD off full level mode so that we get some velocity variation on the hats. A quick bit of editing required. I'm going to add a bit of Guru's repeat function to some of the hi-hat notes to glitch it up a bit. I need to edit the shift graph slightly for the last hi-hat. The shift graph shows deviations from hard quantized step divisions. You can see we didn't use any quantizing for that hi-hat take. Thank you. 